Do there need to be active lesions in order to attend your clinic? No, there is no need to have active lesions to be uh, given uh, an HSCT in uh, clinical risk. Do MRIs need to be reviewed to determine patient's eligibility? There is no need to have an MRI reviewed by specialists before you come here because we have here specialists in radiology and neurology who can do that. Which illnesses are treated at Clinica Ruiz? Uh, we have uh, grafted patients with different types of hematological malignancies and as far as the autoimmune diseases is concerned, we are grafting patients with multiple sclerosis, systemic scleroderma, systemic lupus, and also uh, autoimmune diabetes. Does HSCT have any effects on fertility? The transplant could affect fertility, but it is very rare with our program because the amount of chemotherapy that we are delivering is high, but not as high to cause a serious damage to the reproductive system. So it's, it's possible, but it's very rare. Why is a lumbar MRI necessary? It is part of the regular assessment of uh, all patients with uh, multiple sclerosis that are going to be given HSCT. Is your treatment as effective as those in which chemotherapy is administered in four consecutive rounds? The protocol that we're using splitting the chemotherapy in two blocks is, in my opinion, as effective as any other treatment that are using this chemotherapy together in four days. We consider that this not also as effective, maybe is better. If treatment is done on an outpatient basis, is neutropenia still reached? If so, does this increase risk? One of the consequences of using high-dose cyclophosphamide is the development of neutropenia. Neutropenia can be achieved either in the hospital or outside the hospital. Since neutropenia is a, a risk factor for developing uh, infections, when it uh, ensues in, in the hospital, the risk of acquiring a nosocomial infection are higher. This being the reasons why we prefer the patients to go through the neutropenic period on an outpatient basis. If I have SPMS, am I eligible for treatment? We are treating all kinds of MS. I consider that the best therapy for this kind of problem, no matter the kind of problem that you have is the transplant. Of course, the more severe disease maybe is a problematic situation, but anyway, I consider that this is the best available therapy for this kind of disease. What results have you found in each type of MS? The results are somehow similar, however, uh, our best results are uh, used, I, I mean, have been found in relapsing, remitting, multiple sclerosis, secondary progressive multiple sclerosis, and primary progressive multiple sclerosis in that decreasing order. The best results in relapsing, remitting, multiple sclerosis are observed in around 85% of patients, and the worst ones are observed in about 67% of patients. Will I lose my hair? The answer is yes, almost always you will lose your hair. Um, this is uh, not really a big problem and the, the, the hair will come back in a, in a few months and maybe prettier. What is the process to start my new life? When can I go back to work? What do I do about my dogs and so on? Uh, patients stay in our facilities for around 28 days. When they leave home, they have recovered uh, their uh, granulocyte count and they are uh, uh, informed to be careful about uh, exposing to raw food and raw meat. 
However, our method is designed to allow the patient to go back to their regular way of life as soon as possible. What do I need to worry about during the neutropenic period? During the neutropenic period, you will have risk of infection. But if you contact us rapidly, we can manage that. The risk is, is there, but it's not so serious, and we usually control that problem rapidly. Many patients develop no problem, no fever, no infection. What are the risks of treatment? Well, uh, the main risks are uh, an infectious uh, uh, complication during the neutropenic period, which in our hands is uh, very infrequent. Less than 2% of patients develop a severe infection. And also, there is the risk of bleeding during the period of thrombocytopenia, which in our experience has never occurred because the period of thrombocytopenia is very short. What is EDS as a score? The score that we use to measure the MS is related to the possibility that you can move it from walking and taking care of yourself to going to a wheelchair. It's going, of course, is higher as much as you have this ability to be, take care of yourself, to move, to walk, all right? This is that we use to measure your problem. Is there any difference treatment-wise between the clinic in Monterey and Puebla? No, it's uh, the same. The method is exactly the same. And uh, there may be minor differences uh, in the venues since they are in different cities, but uh, both the method and the results are exactly the same. Are vaccines recommended is strictly necessary? Yes, after the transplant, we recommend a, a program of vaccines. We will explain you how to do it and what kind of vaccines are important. But we, yes, we recommend vaccination is uh, always important. How do doctors evidence the efficacy of treatments? Well, the only way to do that is by analyzing the long-term results and by comparing the results of a certain method with those employed in other parts of the world. We have been able to publish our results and to prove that they are about the same that are obtained in other venues in different parts of the world. Interestingly, the safety of our procedure seems to be better than that of other procedures employed in other parts of the world. How long is your waiting list? The details of this type of information are not uh, very well known by the physicians involved in the transplant. All these figures are uh, analyzed uh, by uh, the people in charge of making the waiting list. But since we have extended our program to other cities, specifically Monterrey, we are now able to graft uh, an increasing number of patients in both venues.